Hi everyone, here is the daily dose of love for me. Today I'd really like to talk to you about negative emotions. I've noticed that a lot of people that I meet in, and on social media um, really talk a lot about how to be positive and, and, and how, how you just really need to be positive all the time. And this is how apparently you attract all the good things in your life. But see, I'm going to tell you something a little bit different. Because I'm going to explain to you what negative emotions really are and how they're formed and where they come from. So, our negative emotions are our GPS and tool for self-awareness. And the reason why I say this is because negative emotions are triggered by our beliefs. And we create our beliefs from the age of nil to four based on our experiences in our early ages in our life and based on our experiences and in relation to our parents mainly. And what happens is that when we form all these beliefs, we no longer look life through clear lenses and see the situations for what it really is. We actually see them from the perspective of our limiting beliefs. So what really, what really the negative emotions are, are just a representation and are a hint which can help us understand what all these limiting beliefs are. Because 99%, we don't know what, what all these negative beliefs are. We don't know ourselves. This is why when we feel negative emotions, because we don't understand them and because they don't feel good and pleasant, we try to suppress them and to hinder them. And when we do that, what actually happens is, first, what you resist persists. It means that you never get the awareness and the learning from it. And second, you are bound by it, which means that your belief has the power because it can control you, because we are not aware of it. And I'll give you a little example to illustrate what I'm just saying. For example, <laughs> I'm gonna be quite open and vulnerable here with you uh, for the purpose of this exercise. So I had a belief based on my um, childhood experiences that I'm not allowed to speak up. This happened, um, this happened because um, sometimes my father used to get angry and he would shout at me when I was really young. And because of this, um, and I was not allowed when I do something wrong and he shouts at me, I was never allowed to speak up for myself. He would tell me, shut up, you're guilty and that's it. I was not allowed to speak up and express myself. So based on that story, what I made up in my mind was that I can't speak, I'm not allowed to speak up. That, and that's it, full stop, I'm not allowed to speak up. And the way this affected me in my life is that when I started working or with friends, I was never allowed to speak up when something bothers me. For example, my manager would tell me, can you do that? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Or, or I was never able to speak up for myself and say, not actually, I'm really busy. I don't, I don't think I can do that. Or I was never able to really voice my perspective and my point of view. I was, I was always agreeing with other people because I knew that they were right and I'm wrong. My opinion is definitely wrong because I'm not allowed to speak it. I'm in the wrong. And, and therefore, I was never able to, to defend myself and to speak up and, and to show myself and, and how I feel and keep people responsible as well for, for, for their actions in relation to myself. So you see how powerful the beliefs are. So if I didn't, if I didn't sit down with myself to investigate why did I feel so scared to speak up? I would never have known that this is related to a situation which is just so common among so many families, you know, to just be angry with your child. How many, how many people out there do that? Everyone. That doesn't mean that everyone's gonna get the same belief, but this is my version because it's what, what we make up as children, what we make up based on, on our experiences. So this is my story, this is what I made up, that I can't, I'm not allowed to speak up. So I, this is how I felt, I'm not allowed. So I never spoke up. I was just completely paralyzed when something happens at work and I just can't voice it, I can't express it. 
So this is when I sat down and investigated why do I feel this way? And I gave myself the time and the space to really feel it, to really allow that feeling to, you know, to overwhelm me and to talk to me. Because our emotions do talk to us. When you allow the feeling to be there, to be present, and not reject it, but really invite it in, then it does speak to you. It does, they, they do speak to us. And they tell us. They tell us things. They tell us what to do. And if you sit down with it and ask yourself, why do I feel this way? When was the first time when I felt like this? What is my childhood memory that they created that feeling in the first place? And if you give yourself the space to listen, to listen to yourself, to feel the emotion, to really go back in time in your mind, to understand what made you feel this way in the first place, you will see that you will get some, some your version of your experience from your childhood that really created that feeling, that really for the first time created that feeling. And ever since you've been looking at all these situations in your, in, in, in your life through those lenses, every time you face a similar situation, instead of reacting adequately based on what's happening right now, you will get triggered. Your emotion from the past will get triggered and it will not allow you in my, in, my, in my case, it didn't allow me to speak up. I was not allowed to speak up. I, I couldn't. Because I, I believed I was not allowed. And you have your version of all those beliefs and all those experiences in life. And until you invite that, that emotion to talk to you, to understand what's going on within you, you will not be free. Your emotion will have the power and not you. Even though you want to speak, I couldn't. I couldn't speak. So the way we, f we take our power back is by understanding that belief and understanding, going deeper, understanding what it is. And once we see for what it is, it doesn't have the power. Because at the end of the day, when all the demons come out, all we need to do is to name them, to understand them, to name them. And once you do that, once you see that, you have the power back. Now you're in charge. You're no longer in control of your emotion. You're no longer compelled to do what your emotion is telling you to do. In my case, to shut up and not speak up. And you have an opportunity to see your reality for what it really is and to take an adequate action based on what you'd really love to do. So the three steps of this really simple technique of managing your emotions is to first acknowledge that you feel that way. Second, go deeper, you know, invite it, go deeper and ask yourself, why do I feel this way? And go deeper and be completely honest, brutally honest, you have to be for that one. And once you understand it, ask, what is happening right now? Now that I'm free from that, and I'm not compelled, and I'm not blindfolded, ask yourself, what is actually happening right now? In my situation and what would I love to create out of it? What would I like to make out of it? And then the fourth step is take action based on what you get that you'd love to create out of it because the power is in you and you can transform the situation in the way you'd really love. And I promise you that if you try this technique a few times you'll see what I'm talking about and you'll see how powerful being the powerful being that you are. And you will see that you're not your emotions and you're not your thoughts. You are this creative spirit that entered earth to create, to create beautiful things in life that are aligned with your heart. So please try this technique. Write me a comment or a personal message. I'd love to hear your stories. I'd love to hear how, how you've, you've understood yourself and I'd love to hear about your vulnerabilities and I'd love to hear how you how you overcame them and, and, and brought yourself back to your power. And um, love you loads. I hope this helps.